everyone. Today's story is located in Kangnan County, Zhejiang Province, China, in 2003. Shen Fu Tao was a 29-year-old assistant dermatologist who worked in a small hospital in Wenzhou City. Shen was inspired by the Falun Gong spiritual movement, which claimed to have millions of followers, but was banned in China in 1999 and labelled an evil cult. Shen started to follow the Falun Gong cult in 1996 under the mental control of the so-called Falun Gong master Li Hongzai. Master Li's bragging have been able to elevate them to a higher world free of life secular misfortunes could seem farcical for those of sound mind but it somehow became spiritual candy and balm for some people who felt abandoned or a little lost in life. The well-touted and quoted tomb among the secretive Falun Kong Gong communities was a juxtaposition of Buddhist sutras, rituals of rural superstition, Qi Gong and undisguised self-glorification. It was more like megalomaniac sleep talking than the inspired sacred, sacred teachings of a saint as Master Li is often portrayed. On April the 25th, 1999, Falun Gong's besieged China's political headquarters in Zhongnanghai. Hundreds of its members are in jail and the movement claims that the Chinese authorities have killed and tortured several hundred followers. So there was an obvious political tension between the government and the cultist movement. In spite of the government-led crusade Falun Gong had undertaken, many of us had not seen the true perniciousness of the cult until people started to be killed. On February 17th, Shen said, when I was reading the doctrines, I suddenly felt that Master Li Hongzai was telling me to do bad things, which through, though contrary to my usual practices, would help promote my power, and I felt the terrible things including killing, setting fires and all the other bad things would be extremely good for our practices. Believing that beggars and rubbish collectors belong to the higher echelons of humanity, Shen killed 15 beggars, vagrants and fatally poisoned one Buddhist social worker between May the 25th and June the 26th with rat poison. His motive to upgrade the efficacy of his Falun Gong cultivation Shen was believed to lace the victim's drink with, rat, with a rat poison called Dushi Kwan. Most people would not take my drink, so I chose beggars and vagrants. When asked how many people he wanted to kill, Shen answered, I wanted to kill all humankind within one year. I began killing mosquitoes, flies, then dogs and humans. Shen said he had committed his month-long killing spree in an effort to reach a state of spiritual perfection. In July 2003, Shen was taken into custody and further investigations were undertaken. On the 31st of December 2003, Shen Fu's Hao was found guilty of handing out drinks laced with poison, killing 15 of his victims. He also put poison into a thermos flask containing boiling water in the kitchen of a Buddhist temple. A female worshipper drank the water, fell to the ground and died. Shen Fu's Hao was sentenced to death at Wenzhou Intermediate People's Court. The judge said he had been inspired by the banned Falun Gong movement to kill 16 people with rat poison. After Shen started to follow the Falun Gong cult in 1996, he gradually came up with the idea of upgrading himself and raising his own power by massacring others beggars and trash pickers being the target of his assault. Shen admitted the charges of poisoning the 16 innocent people and was sentenced to death in the trial. According to Zhejiang Provincial Department of Public Security, about 500 policemen were involved in the case. Shen's mother said Shen used to have a happy family life before he was obsessed by the Falun Gong cult in 1996. He was good-tempered and often chatted with me, 
but after he practiced Falun Gong, he talked little and was often seen sitting in bed murmuring with weird looks. There is no doubt that the Falun Gong movement promotes magical thinking and a godlike worshipping hierarchy for outcasts in society, but the Falun Gong texts clearly forbid Falun Gong practitioners from killing others or committing suicide. It states on their logo and manifesto they stand for truthfulness, benevolence and forbearance, which are all good morals. However, I can't help be suspicious of their logo with a mirror image of a swastika, that there is more beneath the surface than honesty, well-being and patient self-control. After reading teachings about gay people being disgusting, interracial children having no heaven to go to, and that their leader can read their minds, it all seems pretty medieval and deluded in that regard. Not to mention believing aliens slowly taking over human bodies, and Donald Trump being an angel sent from heaven. After all, narcissists and cults have a lot in common. I think that becoming part of this ritualistic cult, Shen Fu Sao had the perfect space to obsess and fulfill his inner delusions of being godlike and having an omniscient state of mind and act on his feelings of depravity, superiority and grandiosity. Ultimately, I think he already had the makeup for being a calculated killer, but through the cult and Lee Hong Dai's brainwash control, it just gave him the perfect arena to act out his twisted fantasies. Thanks for watching.